Today is January 1st, 2010, first day of the year, New Year's Day, and this wall is coming down. Uh, I'm not going to attempt to take the whole wall down today, but I'm going to attempt to get all of the plaster and all of the logs out of it. I've got it where I can close that door, I can close this door, and I've moved everything away from the wall on this side. I've got all the furniture set away from the wall, took all the pictures down. I'm going to run a sheet along the ceiling to try to keep the dust from this loss from getting all in the furniture here. And uh, I'm going to start on this side back here first. I'm going to knock all the plaster off this side and all the logs and clean it all up. And then I'm going to go in here and do the same thing. All the plaster, all the logs. I want to save this molding. It's a really nice old fashioned molding in here and I'm going to try to save all of it. So. That'll be the part I'll be the most careful with, is getting the molding off there, trying to get the molding off there without losing everything else. So, with that said, I'll put some sheets up and we'll get started. So far that's working out pretty good. What I'm doing is pulling these logs off, letting the plaster fall to the floor. Putting the logs in here, I can uh, cut these up and make kindling out of them. And uh, this brings me down to, this is interesting, I was wondering how this was going to work, but this piece of molding is actually connected right to these boards. So the plaster, I was wondering if it went over the plaster or if the plaster uh, was put on later. And apparently this plaster was put on after this molding was put in here. So I'm going to try to get my prize bar down here and get this off of here without breaking it. Not that that little short piece is worth all that much, but it will teach me how the rest of the molding around here is attached. So that's kind of cool. Okay, I did learn something. The bottom piece is an inch thick. It's grooved. And the top piece is uh, also grooved. This groove goes down into it. So this top piece has to come off and it has to come up and out in order to keep from doing what I did here, which was cracking the groove out of this one. Uh, knowing that kind of gives me a head start being able to get the rest of this off. I know that top piece has to come out and lift up, so I have to get the nails out of it. And then I can prise down the other piece. The other good thing about this is that once this outside piece here is gone, it looks like I can come from the back side and kind of uh, put a piece of wood against that and hammer the molding on the other side of this wall out, working from the back side, which should make it, it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to get this molding off not wrecking all of it because I'll be able to get in behind it and hopefully drive it all out from the inside so that's good so I'll just keep progressing here and uh, we'll see how much wall we can get done out of the way before I decide to cook for the evening okay there it is the plaster's off the wall and it's all cleaned up uh, tomorrow morning I'll come up and we'll take the plaster off the other side of the wall maybe start taking some of these boards down uh, and so we'll begin to be able to see out from the living room into here. Um, once everything else is out of the way, I can start looking at getting this door frame out of here, which I want to take upstairs, try to keep it intact, take it upstairs, and we'll use it up there. I don't see why I can't. So it's a process that's coming along. It's going to be going to be kind of nice when this wall is out of here because I can see where back in the old days this kind of served a purpose, but right now um, it'd be a lot better to have the house open it would allow the heat and the air to flow around a lot better. So, anyway, I'll work on that some more tomorrow. Y'all have a nice night.